All right, guys, I thought I would take a break from touring Spirit Halloween stores today to show you this absolute monster pile, this avalanche of things that I have bought so far this season from Spirit Halloween. As you know, I've been traveling around the country wrapping up the 50 states Spirit Halloween tour. I've been filming Spirit stores for about five years now. Up until this season, I have filmed stores in most of the states on the eastern side of the country, all the way from Michigan down to Florida and Kansas, all the way over to Maine and Massachusetts. So over the past month and a half, I've been running around on the west side and I filmed at least one spirit store in every single state over on the west side. Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, California, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana. So at this point, I have filmed at least one spirit Halloween store or more in every one of 45 states across America. Guys, I have five more to go. Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, Alaska and Hawaii. What in the world? How am I supposed to get to Alaska and Hawaii? You will just have to stick around and find out. But until then, let's dig into this cornucopia of Spirit Halloween awesomeness. Let's play a game. All right. Oh my gosh. As I was unpacking this stuff, I'm like, holy crap. I have bought a lot of stuff. I have spent way too much money at Spirit Halloween this season alone. Look at this, guys. I have everything packed into this one corner right here. So let's go ahead and start taking a look. Once I show you everything that you can kind of see on the surface, then we'll get into those bags down there. So to start out, we have this awesome reversible plush throw that is new for this year. It has Jack Reaper on it, and this is a nice, heavy blanket here. It has the Spirit logo on one side and Jack Reaper on the other side. Now, most of the stuff I'm going to show you, I have not yet opened. Some of it I'm going to open on this channel. Some of it I'm going to open on the other channel, That Nate Guy on Halloween. So make sure you go over there and subscribe, and you're going to get to see things opened and unboxed like this ginormous ghost face inflatable right here, 12 feet tall. In fact, let's just take a look at it right now. Lights up with bright LED lights for indoor and outdoor use. Self-inflates in a minute. It's 12 foot inflatable. This thing is absolutely enormous, and that will be inflated and unboxed on the other channel, that Nate guy on Halloween. I bought an entire case of the Spirit Halloween Zombie Babies figural bag clips. These are Series 1, and these actually have already been unboxed and opened on that other channel, if you want to go check that out. I could not resist but to buy this guy right here. This is Gutsy Gwen. And every time I see her in a store, I make a joke about her little hair spout. And the reason I call it that is because it looks like hair or water spouting out of the top of her head. So let's go ahead and hit the button here. I'll show you what she does. <laughs> So yeah, her eyes light up, her head turns, she laughs, all while she's digging into a jack-o'-lantern to eat the guts. <laughs> that is too hilarious. I also bought an entire case of the Series 2 Spirit Halloween animatronic figural bag clips, as you can see right there. These I have not opened yet, and I will also be opening those on the other channel. I bought this Jabberin' Jack animated 3D pumpkin. And this thing is pretty cool. Maybe you've seen the videos I've made. I do have one video on this channel unboxing him, and I have a video on the other channel that is an entire hour long where you can just kind of sit there and watch exactly what he does. He makes funny comments, he makes jokes, he sings, he has like three different voices and several different types of faces. There's a projector inside the pumpkin that projects the face from the inside onto the inside of the pumpkin, but it looks like it's on the outside. So you guys can check out the videos for that. 
chat if you want to see exactly what that does. But just remember, in the video that's an hour long, it's showing you exactly what he does for an entire hour. You're supposed to take him and basically like set him up as a decoration inside your house or on your porch. And then as trick-or-treaters come up, they see a constant movement with him. So sometimes he's just making faces and he's silent. A lot of times he's making stupid little comments and jokes. And then, of course, periodically he sings. He was only 35 bucks, and that was well worth the money. I already showed you the giant inflatable ghost face. Right up above him is the ghost face sidestepper. Now let's go ahead and hit the button here. Some people are mad that he doesn't actually make comments like we're in the movie. I'm sure that would have cost them a lot more money to license it if they did that. And yes, it would definitely be much cooler if he did that. But he doesn't. He just makes those sounds you heard. And that's good enough. It's better than not having a ghost face sidestepper. Below him, we have the Nightmare on Elm Street Supreme Edition Replica Metal Glove. That one is totally awesome. There are two or three other options in the store, but this is the one I wanted. Of course, it's the most expensive one, but it is made of metal, and it's probably just going to stay in the box. Beside that, we have the Ham Hock. One Ham Hock for sale. I could not resist buying a Ham Hock. <laughs> so above here on the top, we have the Nightmare Harvester plush. I had to buy him when I saw him. We have Scabs the Zombie Dog, and the Zombie Bunny, which I like to call Carrot, and these two are best friends forever. After I made that joke in the store, I could not part them ever, so they will always be best friends forever. Over here we have yet another entire case of figural bag clips. This is the Series 6 Horror Properties, and these have things like... Pennywise and Reagan, Danny Torrance from The Shining, Freddy Krueger, Annabelle, Jason Voorhees, all kinds of awesome stuff in there. And that as well, I have not yet opened, and that will be open on the other channel also. Now, if I move these things out of the way here, you can see that we have the Spirit Halloween Monopoly game. I could not resist buying this game. This is so cool. It was kind of difficult to find in the beginning, but it's starting to show up in more stores. Um, I have not done an unboxing of this yet. You can see it still has the plastic. There are some other people online who have done the unboxings, but I will get to it very soon. And I do love, just looking at the back, you can see that there is a secret keeping cat collectible token. Okay, so let's get these bags out of the way for a minute. We'll come back to these because the next thing we're going to look at is the animatronics. So let's start over here with Dagger Mike. I wasn't sure what I was going to think of him when I first saw him, but once I saw him in the store, he was totally awesome, so I had to get him. Next we have poor George, who I've been calling Gorgeous George, and somebody else just told me today I should call him Gorgie Georgie, which is perfect. So from now on, his name is Gorgie Georgie. Down here we have the creepy rising doll, which I actually ordered online as soon as she was available. Below her, we have Heckles. Now, this is not the messed up one. Even though in the pictures on the box, he has the messed up face, I waited until he was re-released and available in stores. I actually bought him in Redding, California. Now, I do not have videos up yet of setting up Dagger Mike or Gorgie Georgie, but I do have videos up of Creepy Rising Doll and Heckles, if you want to check those out. Now, this one I also ordered online just as the season was beginning, the Beetlejuice. I could not resist getting him. And let me tell you, he is one of my favorite animatronics ever. He's huge. He says awesome phrases from the movie. Everything about him is just perfect. And like the other two, I do already have a video unboxing and setting him up on this channel if you want to check that one out. And the last two animatronics that I bought, one of them here is Lil Jack Carver. I could not resist him. He is absolutely awesome. And below him is Gordo. Yes, I cannot wait to get both of these set up and see how they are in person in my own house. I've seen them in the store, but when you set these things up in your house, they are so much better. Okay, so there's the giant stack back there. Let's go ahead and get into these bags here. So the first thing I actually bought this season from a Spirit Halloween store 
was this Monsters, Inc. hat, the hard hat from the movie Monsters, Inc. I love it. It fits me just fine. <laughs> and if you guys watch my Saturday Night Snack and a movie videos, you know that this door behind me here, even though I don't have it closed right now, is actually painted exactly like a Monsters, Inc. door. All right, what else do we have here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got this guy. Now, this is kind of strange. You would kind of expect that this would light up or something, and it doesn't. It's just a solid plastic blow mold, just that you set somewhere as part of your decoration. It is totally awesome, though. Some people have said that they think this is actually supposed to be the possessed pumpkin. I don't think it is. I think it's just a pumpkin with a skull face. He does look a lot like the possessed pumpkin, though. All right, let's see what we got in here. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I remember buying this, guys. Okay, you forget what you buy when you're buying so much stuff and it's still in the bags. I bought the banana hat. Now, if you guys remember, in one of last year's videos, I walked into a Spirit Halloween and Grim, the animatronic, was wearing this banana hat. So that is why I bought this, because I have Grimm set up in my office, and I'm going to be putting this on him, because it was too hilarious. All right, let's see what else is in here. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. If you guys have been watching the videos, you've seen me pick this stuff up. Well, at least most of it. This one I could not live without. If you are a fan of Goosebumps, you know exactly what this is. That is one of the most awesome masks ever. If you don't remember the uh, the episode, it's where the girl Carly puts on this mask, and every time she puts it on, it becomes a little bit more like her and attaches itself to her to where she eventually almost becomes this demon. I won't give anything else away about the episode. You'll just have to look it up and watch it, but that is an awesome mask right there. And in our last bag, all right, speaking of awesome masks, I talk about this one every season when I go into Spirit. The Freddy Krueger mask from Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. Now, I always say that's my favorite. I don't mean that's my favorite movie. Part 1 is definitely my favorite. But as far as the style and the look of the mask, this one from Part 4 looks better than any other mask that I've ever seen, unless you get into the ones that are really, really expensive. Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. Look at that thing. That is a scary Freddy mask. All right, let's see. I think I have two more things in here, guys. And one of them is aged ghost face mask from Scream 6, the most recent installment in the Scream series. And this thing smells like vanilla. I've told you about the vanilla smell on these masks before. I don't know that that's with any other masks except for the ones that come from Fun World. Easter Unlimited, same company I believe, but they make the Scream masks and yeah, they smell like vanilla. I'll definitely be adding this one to my, uh, my ghost face wall in my office. And the last thing I have here guys is another mask and if you've been watching you've already seen this. And that is the Terrifier mask. Look at that thing. Honestly, guys, I've never even seen the Terrifier movie. But I know enough that it is creepy. And I actually own it, so I will be watching it very soon. But man, look at that thing. I had to buy that when I saw it. Trick or Treat Studios, Terrifier mask, and he's got his little hat on. <laughs> look at that thing. That is so creepy. I do not want to wake up and see that at the foot of my bed. All right, guys, well, there you go. Just a quick look at everything that I have bought so far this season from Spirit Halloween. Holy crap, I spent a lot of money. And I'm sweating like a hog up in this piece. So anyways, make sure that you stick around, subscribe, leave me a comment below, a thumbs up, and join me on the rest of this season while I make it to Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, Alaska, and... Hawaii.